I got a box. I got a box. I got a box. Hey, 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 hey. <coughs> 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 Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I got a box, but it is from e.l.f. Did I just show you guys my address? I placed an order on e.l.f. like a while ago. I ordered a bunch of stuff. I also kind of bought some stuff at Target and at Rite Aid because I have no self-control. Anyways, point being, e.l.f. is really kicking it up a notch. They have been, I think, for the last three years, just consistently killing it as a brand, killing it with products, really revamping everything from their packaging, their logo, their look. Everything has just been so much better than the e.l.f. that I grew up knowing. Like, cheap, not only in price, but cheap and everything else product. But they have definitely stayed away from all of that. And I have so many products in front of me and I'm just so excited to try them out. And they are mostly all e.l.f. Try to show you guys the, ah, we're good. I think that's it. All right, let's just go ahead and get into it because I'm mad curious. So one of the first things that I saw is they had a new setting spray. This is the e.l.f. Plus Matte Blotting Mist. This has kaolin clay and uh, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, the packaging stuck with me right in. And obviously the word matte, because as we all know, I have oily skin. Anything that says mattifying or oil controlling, I tunnel vision in on. It says right here to give your skin a touchless touch up with this mattifying spray. Oh, so this is a setting spray and a blotting mist. So basically what this is supposed to do is like when you're getting oily, throughout the day you're supposed to spray this and it'll take away the oiliness which is dope because i hate blotting i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin real quick using my rose ceramide cream by pixie this is an intensive moisturizer which is just what i need because my skin lately dry 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 and now we're gonna go ahead and try the star out primer fingers Mmm, this smells like lemon, like lemon juice, like straight lemon juice, which is weird. And lemon is never something I directly want to spray on my face. The mist was quite nice though. I Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set this now. I am gonna go ahead and set though using the new e.l.f. HD powder in soft luminance. They have a couple, they have a complete HD, like stark white, translucent, cocaine looking shade, but I went ahead and got this one because uh, I'm brown. I love how the cap says pour powder here. Yes, yes powder, tell me what to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my entire face with this powder which is not bad. I'm actually gonna go ahead and look up the details on this because it's called the Soft Luminance Powder and it really is like leaving my skin super soft looking. I'm not mad at that at all. Okay, so this says high definition loose powder creates soft focus effect on the skin, helps mask fine lines and imperfections for a radiant looking complexion. New and improved design with open and closed inner dial helps control amount of product dispenser for a mess free and easy to use product. Cool beans, love it. Thank you, next. I'm gonna use a blush. This is a brand new primer infused, always rosy, long lasting blush from e.l.f. Um, and I got mine in the shade, always rosy. Why am I a beauty vlogger? This is a really pretty like berry mauve blush. I am not the craziest fan of blushes like this. And I'm gonna be real honest with you guys, I don't remember ordering this color, but we're already here. Pretty blush though, I will say. That's actually super pretty. I'm actually quite glad I took a chance on this. This is the e.l.f. Baked Highlight in the shade Apricot Glow, which one of my favorite blushes of all time is called Apricot in the Middle. I love peachy apricot tones, and this obviously caught my attention for that reason. It is a golden highlight. It's absolutely stunning, and it's baked, and you guys know how I feel about my baked products. Um, One thing I do have to disclaim right away, when you buy a baked product, just so you don't think you've wasted your money, this is just the tip of the trade. Scratch off the very first layer. I know you guys are thinking like that's mad weird, Gloria. It is weird to think that you kind of have to damage a product that you spent money on in order to get it to work a little bit. But I mean, wasting a little bit of product is way better than having to throw away an entire product. I promise you, I know it's weird, but it works. Baked products, the top layer is almost a film and like the real good stuff is in the center. It's almost like a cream filled donut, even though I think cream filled anything is absolutely disgusting. 
see now we have like an actual pigment it's i know it's weird how that works you guys but it works she's powdery that is super pretty nice i'm gonna go ahead and pop this down my nose and on my cupid's bow this just has such a pretty color to it i can't explain it it's just it's really 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 pretty okay i'm gonna go ahead and set all of this now i'm gonna go ahead and use the elf spray because why not and then we will move on to the eyes because i think for the face we're done that almost smells like lemon pledge that's weird my face isn't furniture eyes we have a couple of things i got this i think this was a free gift because i'm going to be real honest with you guys i wouldn't purchase this product but i do remember uh buying these because i love products like this just quick on the go eyeshadows that i can blend out with my finger that i don't even have to use a brush for and i got this one in particular because it is um a matte eyeshadow so i'm basically going to be able to use this as an eye primer which i never really prime my eyes but i was curious and i really wanted to give it a shot we will go ahead and do that this is in the shade nude linen sex that's actually not bad i'll go ahead and zoom you guys in just so you guys can really take a look at that that's actually not bad i actually really like that pretty i like that okay cool i am very much still super curious about this guy right here um so this is the elf opposites attract eyeshadow palette i've seen these palettes making uh their rounds here on youtube i haven't really seen anybody actually review it and use it i've just seen it like in thumbnails but i actually picked this up at target my boyfriend and i took a trip down to la we stopped at a target i saw this and i was like yeah love like their color selection it's a very very pretty palette but the thing that really caught my attention was this is so different from elf unlike anything i've ever really seen from them i haven't touched it haven't swatched it so we together will Will experience this one so i think the first shade i'm going to go in with is fresh which is this beautiful like neutral kind of transition shade saucy you guys i'm mad impressed right now fresh was dope but saucy is blending out like a dream go elf cheeky Can we just point out one thing real quick? Honestly, shout out to the person who named these shades because I really want to point out that the gloomiest shade is literally named Happy. I love that. If it were up to me, I seriously would have named this shade Dwight's shirt. But Happy works too. All of the mattes have been A1 sauce. Like they've been really, really, really good. I'm thoroughly impressed with e.l.f. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try Spicy, which is this gorgeous bronze shade right over here. <sighs> Todd. I'm gonna go ahead and grab warm and this is just gonna be to kind of give some intensity onto our outer corner. Go elf! Elf is really doing the damn thing man. You guys this palette dope to the max again earns seven of them we love that we love it so very much so I'm gonna go pop on some eyeliner some mascara and we will be right back and finish all right, guys, so final thoughts on the products. Gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I think the only things that I truly was um, impressed with were the blush, the highlight, and obviously the eyeshadow. I just love the shade of this highlight. It's a beaming highlight. It's absolutely stunning. And the eyeshadows, I mean, you guys saw it. They blended out perfectly. I honestly was forgot I was reviewing them and like doing a first impression with them as I was doing my eye makeup because they just worked so well and I was like, oh crap, let me talk about them. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to continuously keep using this highlight because it's really pretty. The blush was all right. The setting spray, definitely something I have to keep on trying out. It definitely smells like pledge though. I feel like a, a whole piece of furniture when I spray this on my skin but as always thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so very much let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have tried any of these products and if you like them yeah let's go ahead and do that i love you guys so very much thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one